and welcome back to another episode of Flex. My name is Jeanette Dierkaert and today we will be working out with some 2kg weights. So grab them if you have any. If you don't have weights, you can always use uh, cans, whatever you have available. But if you want to go more heavier, um, ideally, the, like, yes, weights will be better if you want to go heavier. So grab your weights, it can be 1kg, 2kg, 3kg will be a lot because we'll be doing a lot of cardio with the weights as well. So if you want to add a 3kg and be the badass that you are, by all means you can do that. But that is what I have planned for you today. So stay tuned as we'll be going into the warm up after this. You know, a few weeks ago, I would never do this on a Saturday morning. Back then I was standing in line all day now it's just like that. Mm, you are using the FNB banking app like I told you. Girl, it saved my weekend. Now I can do all my banking on this. Payments, transfers, checking statements, even opening accounts. Just, just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you what my husband even did? Even me. Even me. I want to save time with the, what's the name of the app? FNB app. Don't be left behind. Make the switch to the FNB app, online banking or cell phone banking and change the way you bank to change your life. FNB, how can we help you? Okay guys, so we're going to start off with the warm up and it's going to be a dynamic warm up. So no stretches here. We're going to start with a bang. All right. So we're going to start off with a, you actually has to stretch up and so, so you stretch out your arm and you bring it in. Okay. While you're doing this, you want to um, twist your hand with your palm facing forward. All right. So after this, we will definitely be using the weights as well but that will be in the main workout okay so you want to bring your elbow to your knee and to one other side so bring it in okay so you can have if you need some extra balance your hands on your hip and bring it in now form is important guys keep your back straight and then obviously you slightly bend or not bend you move your body 40 degree angle and you bring it up okay and one five seconds left let's go four three two and one so there we have it let's go into a deep squat and come up on the balls of your feet all right so you want to go into a deep squat and up okay now if you are a narrow squatter you will have your legs narrowly placed but if you are a wide squatter then your legs will be more than hip width apart okay four three two and one so now we're gonna do some pulses squat pulses you just go down you really feeling that in your quadriceps and let's go down so if you need extra help you can hold on to something and go down. Five seconds, no. Six, five seconds left. Three, two, and one. There we go, awesome stuff, guys. So now we'll be activating our abs again. So just bring it up, one side. Okay, so obliques, we're engaging that while slightly bent. So just touch it, 15 seconds. So you're working on that leg that is straight. Nine, eight seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Okay. So previously, we were state like move forward and we also brought our legs up. 
Now by bringing your legs up, you're engaging your abs while you're at it. So constantly engage your glutes and let's go. Right, 10 seconds left and five, five seconds, let's go. Three, two and one. Awesome stuff, so let's go down, okay? So you're gonna go and come up, okay? So basically, stretch out and up. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this one. Your legs stretch behind you, bringing it up, bringing your knee up and touching with your hand on the floor. Okay, so let's go to the other side as well. Stretch it out and up. Okay, so you can alternate. Tap with your right arm if you're bringing up your right leg and then touching it with your left hand as well. All right, if you lose your balance, get back up. And five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Now we'll be doing all of that all over again. Okay, so we started off with the outstretched hand and bringing it in. Okay, so stretching it out and in. So you want to engage your abs by actually um, bringing your elbow to your knee. And five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, either side real quick. Let's go. So we have 20 seconds. Try and engage your abs. So squeezing everything in, bringing it up. Okay, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, awesome stuff guys. We're gonna go into that low squat and up. Okay. So you really want to go on the balls of your feet, stretching it out, and then we'll be going into the um, squat pulses. Nine, eight, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Squat pulses. Okay. Pulsing right there in the middle or as far as you can go, getting your heart rate up. Okay, so you don't have to go too deep into the squat. You're keeping it there in the sweet spot where it hurts. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up again, all right. So now we're going to bring it up. So knee the elbow. Again, engaging those abs and engaging your oblique muscles, bringing up that leg. 10 seconds left if you want to go slower. That's the modification. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, okay. 28 seconds. So you really want to keep your body straight. While you're doing this, when you lean to the side, you should, you don't want it to be too awkward. Okay, so 45 degree, keeping your shoulders straight. So be aware of your form. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff, guys, alrighty. So now, we're gonna go down. Okay, so down and up okay so you have that let's go stretch bring it up so we're also going to work our arms a lot as we will be working with the weights and five four three two and one great stuff so let's go to the other side real quick okay so down and up. 
so you can keep your uh, the center of gravity a bit low and not come up completely you can stay there if you want to you can go up all right but obviously your muscle has to stretch out when you come to the top well guys i am already tired but let's get straight into the workout Alright guys, so we are back with the workout now. Please, if you haven't drank any water, just a quick sip won't do you any harm. So do that and just get refreshed again because we'll be going into it at this point in time. I hope you are warm and I hope you're ready. Alright, so we're going to start off with some weights. I think we need to get our arms, you know, stretched as well. So what I want you to do, we're going to start off with simple lateral raises. Okay, so let's bring it up one side. So basically, if you were going to use any heavier weights, I would ideally say that you do a few seconds of the lateral raises with a um, lighter weight, okay? And then you go into the heavier weight. So even using a 2 kg, 1 kg will be a great warm up for you in the gym if you're going to start using heavier weights. So we're all here for preventing the injuries, okay? So other side. So. We're starting off really slow, guys. So I want you to just focus on your whole arm movement, okay? So while you're doing this, ideally you should keep your abs engaged. So you want to keep your abs engaged, you want to feel strong while lifting the weight, even though it's probably just one kg, two kg, but if you start with good form, you will definitely be better equipped to lift heavier weights, all right? So now we're gonna do raises front raises with this one you're gonna lift both and slowly we're not doing this fast we're doing it slow and controlled okay so that is how we start a good stretch or a good warm-up even so notice that we're starting with a warm-up for your arms with the weights so always know that when you're busy with some heavy stuff you can also start with push-ups two and one so go down one, two, one, two, okay, one, two, and one, two. So, if you're gonna start off with the um, right side, then we'll start boxing with the right side as well. One, two, and one, two. Last one, and one, two. Easy stuff, guys, really easy. So now we have done this movement in the warm up already. We're gonna take it to the workout. So stretching it up, one, and bring it in. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the timer to go down a bit. We're gonna start with that one. So remember, um, modified version, you just go and modified, actually just try and do this one, it's not too difficult, or you can just do that okay so that is the idea you look forward and you bring it in okay so that is what you're gonna do up and let's go 12 seconds left so you bring that one in and five four three two and one great so let's go to the other side bringing it in okay so you can have this one on your hips while bringing it in but make sure your form is good so forward out and in okay 10 seconds let's go and five four three two and one there we go guys awesome stuff so now we're going to go into some um, squats. We're going to start off at the 30, 15 second mark and then we'll continue. So squats, stretch, stretch and up. Okay. 
and up. So one, two, and up, down. One, two, and up, down. Let's go. We have more seconds left. One, two, and down. Here we go. So now, guys, we are gonna go on the floor. We're gonna start off with one, two, and one, two, okay? One, and let's go. So you bring it up, down, one, two, and up, down, one, two, let's go. And one, two, and 20 seconds. There we go. Awesome stuff, guys. So now we're gonna go into a low squat again. All right. So you're gonna go down low. One, two, and up. Okay. So we're starting with one, two, three, and up. Let's go. One, three, and up. And so you can actually go a bit faster. One, two, three, up. And up, okay. And up, down, one, two, three. So when you start getting tired, you will compromise your form. So it is important that you stay aware of what you do constantly, guys. All right, so now, still with the weight, we are gonna go into a balance movement. Gonna go to the side. One, two, and up. Okay, so you want to keep that balance. Let me show you again. So lifting your leg. One, two, and up. Okay, let's go. One, two, and up. And one, two, and up. Modified, you can keep your leg here. One, two, and up. But four more advanced, lifting it, one, two, and up. Okay, one, two, and up. Last four, one, two, and up. All right, so other side. Guys, remember your form is still very important. And lift, one, two, and up. And one. So you see already I'm losing my balance. Two and up. Down and one. Two and oops. Not yet though. Let's go. And one, two and up. For this one, you really want to keep your back straight while you're busy with it. So now guys, we're going to go down again. And do those squats. And box. So don't box yourself with the weights. You really want to sit into that squat. 12 seconds, 10, 9. If you want to do the modification, you don't have to go into the squat. And up. Awesome stuff. So now we're going to lift this overhead. Low squat there as well. Um, modify, do not go into the squat. Okay, so up. Okay, so you want to engage your shoulders and push up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So now, guys, we're going to come into the end of the workout right here. So now, what I want you guys to do is to just come up. So. You are starting a plank movement. Jump in and jump out. Okay, so if you want to do this better, you can do some modified. Four, three, go in the low, two and one. So, guys, that brings us to the end of the workout. If you pull through with the warm up and the workout, you We'll definitely be feeling it and well done to you guys. We're going to do the cool down right here. 
So enjoy the cool down with me as it is literally the favorite part of my workout. See you guys in a bit. guys now there you have it I'm already a little bit less um, less tired okay so we're gonna go into the cool down just to bring our heart rates down okay we're gonna start the time and we're just gonna start with some breathing all right so you have to breathe in and out so we're gonna do the breath for 15 seconds that's left in and out okay in and out so we're trying to get our heart rate down again and out all right so let's go into a child's pose remember guys this is some stretching that we're gonna do and really get into your hips as well okay and constantly breathe in and breathe out okay and out all right so how many seconds we have 10 seconds left in and out all right so remember your breaths are important and let's go so now with this one we're just going to stretch out our back a bit our lower back so really in and out so lift your pelvis from the floor let me just get this mic out of this awkward position so in and out all right so there you have it Let's go again and in and out. Here we go, awesome stuff. So nothing too hectic right there. We really want to get that tension out in our arms. So I want you to just stretch, bring, bring your arm across your chest and hold it there for a few seconds and constantly breathe in and out. Okay, so we're going to keep that going and out so one arm only and in and out all right so now the other side as well in and out so holding it there so while you're doing this one you actually you don't want to tense up your shoulder when you bring this one across your shoulder will lift a bit but then having it up bad down relax your neck so there's muscles in your neck, you really want to relax those muscles and you just want to get a proper stretch. Three, two and one. Okay, so let's stretch it from the back as well, just to get a nice shoulder stretch there. So you want to keep your back straight while you're doing this, okay? And you want to hold it there in 15 seconds. So let's keep it right there guys. I want you to just feel the stretch throughout your arms, your shoulders. You're going to feel it in your bicep. You're going to feel it in your shoulders. But we should also remember to relax our shoulders. All right, so now what we're going to do is stretch out those legs and hold on to your feet. Okay, so we're stretching through our calf muscles. We're stretching through our shoulders. So when you're holding that feet, you can decide where you want it what's more comfortable for you. So obviously, where you hold it, you can go deeper into your stretch. Okay, so five, four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. So now, let's sit back here, and I want you to backwards. So rotate your shoulders backwards, guys, keeping everything straight. So standing, is a bit more easier to do your shoulder rolls or whatever but when you're sitting down you'll definitely feel you know that you have to have control here in your arms and everything so now we're gonna hold on not hold on but we're gonna hold the floor and you're gonna stretch walk your fingers out and hold that stretch there you really want to feel it in your shoulders and in your neck. So there you go. And you just hold it there, guys. 
nine, eight, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, and other side. So walking out your fingertips, holding that stretch. So you really wanna feel it. You wanna feel that stretch and you wanna have your arms a bit out. And let's go. 15 seconds, 12 seconds, 10, hold it there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. While you're doing that, obviously you want to just, um, you want to keep breathing in and breathing out, guys. So now we're just gonna move our head side to side. 15 seconds, switch the rotation. 12 seconds. I don't know, I feel like I get disoriented. And then I'm like, okay, what side should I go? Alrighty, there we go. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it with me. And I hope to see you all next time again. That is it from me, Jeanette Dierkart. And obviously from the Flex team, goodbye for now. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Thank you.